Mr. Sandman, bring me a dream. Bum, 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 bum. Something, something, something well, about a dream. As as I don't know the lyrics to that song. I'm just saying it because this man's nickname is the Sandman because he be putting people to sleep. However, that hasn't been the case in a while. I see you side seven, buddy. We're going to take that away from you real quick. Corey Sanhagen's in a position where he's beating the guys he's supposed to beat. Or rather, guys that yeah, I need landed well. Guys that uh, he was the favorite against. I know he beat um, Frankie Edgar, KO'd him ever so viciously with a fine, flying knee. Who else did he beat? <laughs> Rafael Sunsa, and uh, Sunsa hasn't won a fight in a while. It was a good win, though. It was definitely a good win. I think he beat uh, John Lineker. That's always a good win under anybody's belt. Uh, good, God, it's crazy. I actually trying to recall, but I don't know. It was a like Frankie Edgar and Marlon Moraes were two guys who beat. I think Marlon Moraes he TFO'd him with a spinning wheel kick, and then uh, finished him up with follow up punches. But he's lost to the guys who are like the super top of the division, like uh, Sterling. Got choked out by him in round one. Well, it's a controversial split decision to TJ Dillashaw. Arguments can be made for both sides when in that fight, and he came out on the wrong end of it. I would have not been mad if they gave him a decision, or I will keep a mental note of that upper guard counter now. And most recently, he lost a competitive but clear decision for uh, Peter Jan. So now he's taking a step back in opposition, although I, I highly doubt anybody that has two working eyeballs and knows that Song Yadong is not a step down in competition. That dude is legit as they come he's improved leaps and bounds and he's on a nasty win streak on, uh, of his own recently came with marlon rice something that both men have in common but he beat a julio uh arce one of the tiger showman standout beat casey kenny by split decisions and also beat a uh, cheeto bear up at 145 so we'll see this might be a uh, san corey's like time to like let the division know hey i may have lost to like three of the best guys in the division but i'm not going anywhere and almost makes him kind of like a gatekeeper in that sense like you got to get through me if you want to try to get past the the top five i would love to see him against cheeto vera i think that'd be a great fight if he manages to get the w against song and dong this weekend that's pressure pretty decently now It'll be a very interesting fight. Okay, now he's starting to open the strike. So notice, now that the time's, the time is uh t ticking. At the end of the round, he's trying to go for more open combinations. He's just pressuring with footwork a lot. Oh, uh, slip. <laughs> yes. No, we and we definitely have enough time to finish him. Yes. Oh, he made a mistake. Listen, I'm not a fan of the ground and pound system. Even when I get the finishes and whatnot. Because sometimes I feel like the shots need to be a little bit more emphatic. But that's a good fucking flying knee. I ain't gonna hold you. That's a real nasty flying knee. I was throwing a lot of volume. He was pressuring like really well distance. He, right off the bat, this dude was doing side steps right away. Which means that he probably has experience with uh, Corey Sanhagen players using a lot of the side kicks. A lot of the body tips. So I used the body kick to kind of sway him from doing that. And he started to amp up the pressure just a little bit. Got me up against the cage, but good old Overliable came in clutch and managed to get him out of there. So not not too bad of a start. And being that his fighting is your dong, <laughs> your dong, it's going to be uh, five rounds. It's going to be what, his uh, second, like his third five rounder in a row? TJ Dillashaw five rounds, Jan five rounds, and now again Song. See, I would have liked to see this fight against Henry Cejudo. It would have been a pretty interesting fight. Obviously, the grappling edge would go to Cejudo. Cejudo's also improved pretty well with his distance management with his own striking. And the Cejudo, Mr. Whoa, 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 no. Oh, he switched his stance too. You smart motherfucker. Okay. I see you are living up to your name, Mr. Dagestan Eagle. Oh, my God. What the fuck did I do to you? I can't... Boy, if you don't get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're gonna, we're gonna, we gotta think this through. Okay, he's trying to go to... This guy is like going for all the finishers. Off rip with Henry! 
Like that that's a sign of somebody I got somewhere I gotta go. <laughs> so fuck you. I'm gonna go for everything that I can. So fuck that. This guy might try to fucking rear naked choke me or something. Ooh. Oh my lord. Uh-uh. Gonna roll and hit this he hook counter. Good time. You know, that first head kick was not the one, but that second one was uh, very deceiving. We're going to retreat, though, so we don't get fucking assault the guard. Rocked him. Remember, there's two ways you can stop the assault the guard. Obviously, by pre-denying it, or if you're retreating, or if you're switching your stance. That's three ways. So, outside of the now, it's two. Excuse me. I don't know what school for math. Oh, oh my fucking shit. Okay. Joe, whoa. <laughs> what the fuck is this fight? Yeah, dude. <laughs> oh, dude, I gotta take this guy super serious. I gotta take this guy a little bit seriously or I'm gonna get knocked the fuck out. <laughs> nope. I see that. I see that. <laughs> nice sidestep in the show. That's cool. That's cute. Ah, yes! Why didn't that fucking flash KO him? That would have been fucking nice. Holy shit. Went for the assault of guard and got fine need for his fucking trouble. Fuck you. For your fucking trouble. No! You're like a puta. Fuck you. Ah, oh, he kept going with the drive. I think he's going to go for uh, something else. It's fine. No. Ah, man. And this is like 6,000% uh, another alt too. Because he's throwing out all the super hard like fight ending counters. You now we're going to reverse him here. But he's going for broke with everything too. The slip straight lead overhand. He's going for the hard forward slip hook counter. And he doesn't give a fuck. And also going with the uppercut too. Head kicks if he sees me getting into kicking range. We're going to deny that. And it seems like he's like going for like a higher pace of grappling where he's just looking to get to a fucking position and get you the fuck out of there. Like, well, let's see. You see, like he's like, he went, he went straight for the fucking back tape. He's going to rear naked choke my ass if he has a fucking chance. He's going to go for whatever the fuck he can to get to win this fight. Jesus. This style is not sustainable over the course of five rounds, but three rounds? Yeah, it's going to be a bit of a problem. But thankfully... We're using Corey, and he can work from both stances, so we can um, at least take away the Sotogari threat as much as we can. Beautiful. Drop him down. Surprised he's not skipping it. Okay, there we go. Uh, we're gonna switch to softball. But we're gonna keep an eye on him because he switched on me, and I didn't realize it. Hmm. See that? See, he has these, like, automatic responses when he sees me throw a certain sequence of strikes. Oh, did I deny? Yeah, no, I did not deny it. Fuck. This is not good. No, deny that. This is not good. Four minutes left in side control is not good. I'm okay with two minutes, but four minutes is not good. No, I'm going to deny that. We're not going to move yet. I don't know how good this guy's denials are yet. Mm. Oh, you cheeky bastard! Oh, fuck, no! <laughs> what? Corey has that! Get him down, get him down, get him down! Oh, bro, I'm not gonna. Fuck, I'm not gonna have the stamina for this. I know it. That. He denied the shit out of me in North South, so I'm not gonna have the fucking stamina to finish this. Fuck! Oh, that is a lot to, to go on within fucking 30 seconds. Holy shit. I, I want to explain what the fuck just happened. Alright, we're in full guard. Damn. Ah, okay. John, I you're going to have to wait to see how soon he's going to try to pass. I fucking denied that. That's what I get for fucking talking. Jesus. Okay, well, let's relax. This guy is on point with his denials, too. Alright. So he baited me to move and then triggered the north south animation no fuck off north south animation denied this i tried to go for a momentum transition 
He de denied the shed. He pre-denied that momentum transition. Rocked him. And then I pre-denied the shed of the north-south show because if he would have got that, I would have been subbed. Like, that choke is extremely broken. Doesn't matter who you are. Ha <laughs> ha! But we got him there. Oh, boy. Still no fucking... Melt! Fucking finish. Fuck you. I'll trip you if I need to. Uh, he doesn't care. He knows that Corey doesn't have um, too many subs from me. I think Corey has an very triangle, but I'm not going to go for it. This motherfucker. That's an insane amount of goddamn... <laughs> goddamn... The so much debauchery in, a, in a, two rounds. Shit. Wow, I was not expecting all that. I was kind of hoping that this Cejudo would be more of a takedown heavy Cejudo with some like decent boxing. Instead, I'm getting an absolute insane insane psychopath. Nope. Oh, caught him. Caught him as he started the frame. So listen, bitch. <sighs> Y'all watching this right now, please, please. <laughs> For my mental health, <laughs> drop a like for this shit. This is why I don't be streaming, right? This may be exciting, but at the same time, this is some shit I can not imagine to put myself through for over the course of two, three hours. Sam so now with the one, two, and this. <sighs> he plays very similar to uh, this Twitch streamer. That goes by uh, Chance Benz or something like that. He was a uh, BMF Stoyan or something like that. But he's very similar. I like watching that guy stream. This guy's a fucking animal, though. Third round underway. Nope. No, I'm pretty nice. <laughs> I thought he was going to spit a shit out of me. No, 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 no. No fucking turn for you. I didn't even want to go for the fucking uppercut on the break. Oh, yes. All right. We got him out of there. Wow, that was a lot. We got the Aldo fight, and then we got this. I think that's going to be it for Corey. Honestly, there's not much else to say about Corey Sanhagen. That fight completely took me off guard. He's made his presence known in the band and weight division. He just has a lot of people in his way for the title, and a lot of things will have to line up correctly for him to get a title shot. Beating Song Yadong this weekend is his first step because he's on a two fight losing streak. Granted, to TJ Dillashaw and Peter Yan, not exactly a bad losing streak. But you know how people are, and they're allowed to discredit fighters even if they lose to the elite of the elite. So, this has this is a must win situation for Corey Sandhagen. As for y'all, and as for myself, that's going to be it for the showcase. I appreciate all you. Mara 17, I'm out.